it's Emily here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some really easy Dollar Tree DIYs. I found a lot of these products while I was actually cleaning out my craft room. If you haven't seen that video, it'll be linked down in the description box below. It was overwhelming, but at the same time it was really good because I got to see all the supplies that I have, which comes in really handy now that we can't really leave the house so much and things. So I'm going to be using those products and they're very easy, simple. You might even have a lot of these things on hand and know that you can use various products throughout your house to create something really beautiful and it doesn't have to be super complicated either. I will say though one of these DIYs I had to do it three times to get it to look the way I wanted it to. It wasn't necessarily a DIY fail the first two times it just wasn't looking the way I wanted it to look. So I'm going to share that with you as well because I feel like with each DIY you kind of um, learn a little bit as you go. So if there's anything that you have learned from your DIY projects or if you have a special craft hack or something like that, leave that down in the comments so that way people can read it. And I would love to hear a praise that you have from this week or something that you are very thankful for, just so it's uplifting. A lot of people do read the comments and with everything going on in the world, I want this to be a place of positivity and a creative place that you can come and take your mind off of everything else. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends, whether it be my video or other crafters or other channels that you enjoy watching. Sharing is caring, it's completely free and it just helps us out, especially with everything that is going on not to bring subject to it but um, YouTube doesn't necessarily want to push out this type of content for some reason they just don't so by you sharing it um, whether that be on Facebook Twitter Instagram and things like that uh, even on here it definitely helps so I appreciate it whenever you do that thank you very much and um, because without you guys I wouldn't be here so with that let's go ahead and get on into these easy Dollar Tree DIYs for the first DIY, you will need a couple supplies. I'm going to start with this placemat that I found at Dollar Tree. It's super cute. And I'm going to be using this 8x10 canvas that they also sell. And then they also have the canvas that has the um, wood frame. You're going to want both of them, the hard shell one and then the actual one with the frame. I am using this um, paint from Waverly and brushing this on pretty thickly and then you'll just take a um, napkin or a towel and you'll rub that in and it will transfer and make it look like it is stained wood. It's really nice, it's very versatile and super easy and it cleans up really well with just water. It's not smelly at all either. Then I'm going to take that hard canvas piece and I'm going to trace around that and uh, go ahead and cut that part out. Like I said, this is super easy. You can do this with an old pillow that you might have or something else. I'm going to add glue to the backing and you can use hot glue, you can use E6000. Um, use whatever you have on hand and then I'm going to take that wood frame and you're going to put glue all the way around the edge of the picture and the frame and then you're going to press that down and E6000 will hold really well for a long time. Hot glue you can always take it apart later on but I love the way this project came out and I think it's super appropriate for what's going on right now. I think it's beautiful. The next project I'm using this really cute triangle frame from Dollar Tree. You're going to start by removing the backing on it and then peeling off the little top part. I'm going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to sand down the entire white frame because it has a little bit of a gloss to it and in order for your paint to adhere you're going to want um, it to be sanded down. So clean that up a little bit. I'm again using that same stain paint from Waverly here. You can um, use whatever you want. I actually started by brushing this on very light so it kind of looked like a nice light oak um, color of wood um, but then you'll see as it goes I kind of changed my mind but you can do whatever works for you if you want it to be darker or lighter or black white whatever works do what um, your decor style is then I took the insert and I actually brushed on the Waverly white paint on this to cover up um, the lettering. Um, you could just use a really thick craft paper as well depending on what you have on hand. Um, so just keep that in mind. But I just did one really thick coat and then I let that dry after I covered the entire surface. And then I went ahead and got on my computer and typed out a really cute little saying and then I just ended up gluing the paper down to the um, 
to the backing and you can choose whatever wording you would like. You can see here that I brushed on the white paint and then I um, brushed on just the uh, the brown paint on the edges and I really like the way that looked and then I kind of muddied it up a little bit because it's for my boys' room and I really like it. I think it's cute. For the next project, you're going to want a pizza pan or a round surface. And then I'm taking this other placement that Dollar Tree carries. It's super cute. I've had this forever and I've been wanting to make this DIY and today is finally the day that I'm doing it. So um, this is really fun though. It's super easy. Once you kind of get the general shape of it, then I just put it on the back of it to get the actual size for it because I didn't want to draw on it and you know accidentally have that on there. So just cut around that and then um, if you use a slightly smaller pan, it might work better. I would suggest using E6000 for a permanent hold on this and then gluing that all the way down. Now you can paint the edging, but I decided to use some rope to cover up the unevenness um, in it and just placing that on the inside. You could do that all the way around the edging if you want. You could do a double layer um, on it. And so I only had two pieces of rope left and they were separated already. So again, I'm using what I have on hand. And then I just added a little bit of twine with some hot glue on the back to hang up the sign. And this is the way it turned out. And I think it's really, really pretty. I told you I was keeping it really simple for you guys today. So this next DIY, I'm going to start with the pot first and we are going to be making some topiaries from uh, Kirkland's that I saw that were really expensive and they do not cost that much. So I took the elephant color in Waverly, which is just a, kind of like a medium tone gray and I'm doing that over the Dollar Tree um, pot here. They come in two um, and then I think they're always sold in a pack of two actually. They have really small ones that are sold in a pack of three or four I think as well. So I'm just covering the entire pot and then I'm also doing the inner part of the rim because um, that's going to be shown and I don't want that to peek through. I just did a rough um, coat. I didn't do it super solid. I took some foam that I had and kind of cut it down into a triangle shape put that inside. This is actually from Hobby Lobby. I've had this thing for years. I just always forget to take the tags off. So this was $3.50 on sale, but you can get boxwood at Walmart for a dollar, and you'd probably want two of those for the size of this. So depending on which storage um, you have or what you have available on hand. I started by just taking a wooden dowel that was a foot in length and then wrapping it with some floral um, twine and gluing the greenery um, um, pick to it and then taking some sticks that the boys found out in the backyard and gluing those on for a nice kind of organic look to the topiary which I liked um, and just hot gluing those on together and then it wasn't holding right for me and I didn't like how chunky it was <laughs> so I ended up wrapping it and then painting it and I hated it. I just did not like the way this looked. Um, just visually wasn't what I was wanting. So I let that dry and then I went ahead and took that apart and started from scratch. So I used a little foam um, ball that Dollar Tree carries. They have them in a pack of like four or five smaller ones from like half an inch to two inches. So I tried the inch and a half one and I was, as I was poking these in and gluing them in, I realized that the ball was too large for how much greenery I had. So I took all of those out and then I ended up taking all the greenery that I had peeled off and cut off and wrapping that with some twine and hot glue, really nice and tight and making that all come together. So if you skip the mistake I made, you'll just want to cut the bottom part of your greenery stem off, leaving it so where it's all still attached, but you just have a little knob, okay? And then I took those sticks and I started gluing those onto my wooden dowel and I shoved those up into the greenery and glued those in and it worked really well. So you have this like little ball there, okay? And I went ahead and put that back into my foam block here glued that down, added some more glue, and then I added some Spanish moss. Dollar Tree carries it too. They carry the dark and the light. And then I added lots of hot glue around the base of it to smooth it out for a nice even look. And then I took the eggplant color and redid my stems that were showing. And then I also took a brown paint and um, just kind of dry brush that onto the stems and then also to the base 
of the greenery because then it looked like a little greenery ball in there and I didn't need a foam ball. So if you just get yourself a piece of greenery, leave a little knob at the very end, you'll be just fine. And then you can add in a couple sticks, you can do one, whatever you want to. They ended up just using one, but I like a couple stems in there. I think it looks really good. But this, just using the supplies on hand, basically cost me four bucks to make. And again, I've had the greenery for like three years now. So it was just a great upcycle and I love the way it looks and you can make it too. So I hope you enjoy these easy Dollar Tree DIYs today. Let me know which one was your favorite and what you'll be creating with what you have on hand as well. If you haven't seen my last few videos, I'll put them up here on the screen. You can definitely check them out. I'll leave them in the description box below. You can click the uh, cards on the screen. I hope you all have an amazing day. Stay positive, stay healthy and strong and enjoy your rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.